الرحمن الرحيم تلدن تلدن Assalamu alaikum, Greetings, Ali Shamo here, and this is the LR700 with the Scorpion Motors very first flight. I'm not very confident because the GE P2 Pro I'm using on this one is pretty old uh, flight controller. Haven't been updated for a very, very long time, but so far it was showing good signs, so let's give it a try. Alright, here we go. Propellers are spinning in the right direction. Okay, all propellers are spinning in the right direction. So here we go. Drifting away, maybe it's not in GPS mode or what? Alright, now it's GPS mode. It's good. 1234, that's the time I took off. I'm using a 6S3300 milliamp battery. For testing purpose only. See vibrations. Not much actually. These are folding props. Let's fly it around. I haven't flown big machines for a long time. Sweet, so I have better throttle control, better speed as well. Flies like a dream. This one can actually carry up to 6 kg of payload. I'll give it a little altitude and put it in uh, auto circle mode. Will it do it? All right, it's doing it now. I can actually set the speed myself. Right now I have set a very little speed for it. That's a speed up. So it's doing auto circle now. I can increase the radius. Basically increasing the radius is up and down on the elevator and increasing the speed and decreasing the speed is on ailerons now and it's doing simply beautiful auto circle or uh, point of interest 
GPS mode. So far no beeps. We have been flying for four minutes. When I took off again, each cell in the battery had four volts. I would like to test auto return to home. All right. And it's hovering there. Auto return to home. It will climb up to 20 meters and it should return to home tail in and then land. Sweet, it's landed. Now let me check the motors are barely warm, ESCs are barely warm, and my batteries are on 3.7 volt. That's the 3300 milliamp flown for six minutes something. All right, let's take off again. And let's fly it around. Oh, it's getting hot. Now the low voltage beeper starts beeping, so I'm going to bring it for landing. Whoa, lots of wind. And stop the timer. So on the 3300 milliamp old 6S battery, I flew for 10 minutes 35 seconds. And before that, I flew about one or two minutes, so basically 11, 12 minutes on 3300 uh, milliamp. Not bad. Now, question is, how long it's going to fly with a 5000 milliamp battery, single battery, and how long it's going to fly with a 16000 milliamp? All right, flying with the 16000 milliamp 6S, I just hope it will take off. Timer on. And it took off. Awesome. I'll let it hover for a few seconds to see how it's holding and if any propeller will fly away or not. Oh, so hot. The hexa is sending very nice winds our way on this hot day. All right, let's just fly fly around.
All right, I will put it in intelligent uh, circle mode. There we go. And start circling. Please don't come on my on my head. <laughs> yeah, that's that's enough radius. The battery voltage meter must be really scared because it's at a very pleasant close distance to the propeller. <laughs> ah, nice, nice wind. Oh, nice wind. GPS mode. Where is the head? That's the head. Okay, let's fly it around. So I will fly fly it and maybe I need to shoot a time lapse of this one. So let me set my camera to time lapse mode. Big winds are coming. Good test for the hexacopter to see how it holds in these winds. I'll keep it a little farther from us. Alright, let me set it to time lapse mode. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.